I think it's safe to say that we are all a little bit tired of mono red at this point. So today, me and my friend Marshall here, that's right, me and Marshall, we're showing them no mercy. <laughs> All right, guys, today we're taking a look at an Azorius enchantment deck that felt really good on the Mythic Ladder. We were dominating a lot of matchups, especially Mono Red, which is funny because we're, we did not tune this deck to counteract Mono Red by any means, but we do have pieces in here that we, we had Mono Red in, in our mind when building this deck so we can kind of counteract their pressure. And boy, did it ever. Okay, guys, so this deck, if you're not familiar with, we've got brand new cards, a lot of them from Duskmorn that give enchantments huge buffs. This one being kind of the main one here, this Glimmer is going to basically act as our brand new Jukai Naturalist. It's going to give us discounts on all of our enchantment triggers as well as our room triggers. Uh, this is the card you want to kind of kick things, you know, off with. It's an enchantment creature, which helps, by the way, with the synergies. Uh, but with Mono Red, guys, Mono Red, we tuned our deck up a little bit against them with High Noon. This de this card completely shuts down Mono Red. If you go first with a High Noon in your hand, Mono Red's got nothing. They, their whole game plan is to cast their entire hand by turn two. They can't. They can only cast one spell at a, at a time. And it's so funny watching Mono Red squirm when this card's down because their deck essentially becomes just a one drop creature, a one drop pump spell. It does nothing. There's no value there and they're so slow. It's hilarious to watch them kind of like try to work around this and maybe have some hope to win the game, but it's impossible because we've also got new cards like Sheltered by the Ghosts, which can exile creatures, which is huge because if you're exiling things that when they die, you know, would normally throw a fireball at your face like the hero, this is just gonna exile them straight up and it gives your creatures lifelink to get you back into the game. We've also got Ossification for the same sort of effect. Um, some more new cards we have is uh, the Gremlin Tamer. This is gonna spit out 1-1 Gremlins every time an enchantment hits the field. We've got auras that are going to come out of the vendor every single turn spitting out these little gremlin tokens on you know the regular and because we're getting so many small little one ones out of those uh we got enduring uh you know innocence here which is going to allow us to draw cards which is great another card draw mechanic is the curiosity both of these cards are great because when they die they become enchantments and you can still continuously draw cards huge value there and then to win the game we do it many times is the doll uh, doll maker shop you can flip this over open up that second door whatever you want to call it and smash the opponent for a bunch of 10 tens it's really really good and then overlord of course because it's the best overlord in the spot it's an enchantment creature it spits out insects it's just good stuff so guys enjoy this one i know i did again you're gonna see some mono reds uh you know really flustered today so enjoy we'll see you at the end peace out all right, guys, today we're going to be taking a look at uh, Azorius Enchantments. This deck is actually kind of crazy. Uh, the only thing we obviously had to always kind of worry about now in uh, Standard is this Mono Red deck, which is why we added in uh, not only a lot of removal like Ossification and our other enchantments, but we've got High Noon. And if we can find High Noon against Mono Red players, we typically don't end up losing too many games. Uh, you know what? I'm actually going to get this down now. And then next turn, I got one mana ossifications. I still need another white source, though, if I want to utilize um, that benefit to its fullest potential. But it looks like lizards. We might have got away with one here. I thought maybe it was going to be mono red based on the land we see here. But well, it still could be like a Rakdos pump sort of. Yeah, we'll let that get through. OK, it is, in fact, lizards. OK, good. And they get the Rakdos mana. Nothing done with it though, that's good. We will probably go here. And we'll also go here. I think I like that. Um, actually, I'm gonna take out the Hired Claw though, because this, this Hired Claw can attack into us enforce that damage without actually getting through which will then trigger their other geckos etb effects so taking that out as opposed to this gecko here which does really nothing it's just a 2-2 at this point because it already got its etb i think that's the right call now we do have because we have the glimmer on the field we do have the overlord here for three i still hope we get one more land here so i can you know get down the doll maker shop and the overlord because i'd like to get the doll maker shop going as soon as possible Opponent has something here. Ah, I see. Okay. Indestructibility. Nice. That was a really good top deck. I'm not going to lie. Really good top deck. I mean, we got a bit lucky there. I didn't think the lizards really had much uh, for those sort of trickery type 
spells there, but uh, I forgot about this guy here. He has indestructibility, man. Not bad. Three mana is kind of a lot, though. You don't see people run that typically. Uh, but we are already so wide, the opponent's going to have a really hard time getting any sort of damage through. I'm telling you guys, this enchantment deck feels pretty slick, man. I've been playing it all day today, and it feels really good. Like, we've been climbing pretty pretty steadily with it, so. Opponent's lacking in red mana. Alright, Rad City, you are out of here. Um, could be a kill spell or something. I don't know. I want to make sure I play this. I'm going to play this as about as safe as I possibly can here. I know I should probably play the Overlord here and get it rolling, but I'm just going to get this down, take out the Hired Claw, do my thing. And uh, if we ever do get to six mana, obviously uh, unlocking that final door on the Dollmaker shop is ridiculous. <laughs> like, it is so good. It's an insta win. They don't have an, uh, enough mana. Wait, hold on. The spell costs one less to cast. Oh, I didn't realize it got cheaper. Okay. Didn't read that clause of it. Well, if that's the case, then I'll probably just send in all my one ones. Because we know they're sitting on another one of these, right? They have to be. I guess the three mana is pretty irrelevant from what I said earlier. Just playing it about as safe as you can. Uh, we probably end will end up getting to that six mana mark and then pumping all of our creatures for the win. I actually only need five though, don't I? Wait, four, five, six. Yeah, I think I only need five because this unlock. Oh yeah, you can unlock doors for cheap too. Almost forgot about that. That's a good find. Still puts me in another position here where I don't like to be because I'm gonna have to decide between that or the flyers. I think it's about time we get the flyers down. I do hate the fact that they're gonna get the mentor draws. You know, they get the exile cards now from the top of their library when dealing damage, but it doesn't really matter, man. Let's just get this thing impending. We're gonna be sitting on it forever if we don't get it out of our hand. Just keep leaving back our, our main guys here because, you know, again, we are pretty sure they're sitting on a scales of uh, shale here. Oh, wow. Yeah, they definitely uh, are going to use it here, because why would they lose their mentor to block a 1-1? One, one? That would be kind of silly. All right. Finally got that out of their hand, though. What are the odds they have a third? <laughs> You'd think it's pretty low, but... By the way, this is absolutely fire, because it's allowing us to, you know, gain life back, too, which is going to be really key. They really have another one? That's wild. I will jump block. Oh, they don't have another one. Wow. Well, unfortunately for them, I did just find a land drop. So that unlocks our door. And that will bring the absolute heat. That will bring down the reign of terror onto the poor Lizards player, man. <laughs> oh, I absolutely love Dollmaker Shop, man. All right, we just had another game that we won. Um, unfortunately, the opponent roped us out towards the end. It was a really fun game, but I mean, the, the amount of roping that was going on was pretty egregious, and I don't think you guys want to sit through that, or I don't want to really edit all of that. So <laughs> we'll just move on to the next one. We do have the high noon. No way we're going against lizards again, right? That's kind of crazy. Did not expect to see lizards twice in a row here, or not in a row, but for the video, I guess it's in a row, so. It's not, it's mono red. It's mono red. Now, had we have gone first here, this probably would have been a much better game. Oh, you know what though? It just got better. It just got better with the lifelink and some exile there. I wish we had something other than the fabled passages here for land on this next turn, just cause they come in tapped and I do have the ability to get down the glimmer and play. Well, I can't actually. I've got the high noon down. Never mind. This works out fine. 
<clears throat> Alright, gonna go for the glimmer, obviously. Next turn, we get the lifelink onto the glimmer and steal their claw, which I'm sure they're gonna pump up quite a- well, they can only drop one pump spell. I keep forgetting I have high noon down. I just put it down and I, I'm already forgetting it's there. High noon is gonna win us this game, guaranteed. The opponent was way too slow for a mono red player. Way too slow. Yeah, that's GG's for sure. GG's for sure. I'm getting blue in case we draw into our flash speed creature that comes down and uh, draws us cards. We'll be taking that. Thank you. And we'll be going back up in life every single turn and exiling every single thing you play. So have fun with that, Mono Red. You know what? I'm going to get this down first. And this is where we stabilize and there's literally nothing they can do. They only one spell per turn is not nearly enough for a mono red player. It's funny how a mono red player basic basically just becomes a person dropping a bunch of useless one ones when they can only do one thing per turn. That's pretty fun. That is pretty fun. It gives me more ward too. Shoot, I'll take it. More ward? I don't mind if I do. Back to 17. Who's the beat down now, Mono Red? Who's the beat down now? Now we went second. So I mean, typically, if we're going second against Red, there is a very strong possibility we just lose on turn two if they have the good curve. But we uh we get lucky with this opponent not moving too fast. It is pretty rare that an opponent does actually pull the ley line with all the, you know, fling spells, but. GG's. They finally realized it. <laughs> You'd love to see it, man. GG's. Very happy. Thank you. I'm telling you guys, man, high noon is the answer right now. Um, opening hand looks pretty good. I can keep this for sure. Um, okay, good. Not mono red. Okay, not good. Discard right away. I don't have a draw spell, unfortunately. And High Noon's kind of a dead draw in this matchup. Which is a good opportunity for me to drop it off now. Alright, let's get down the vendor. Well, the vendor probably dies here, unfortunately, to a very simple Liliana. But at least the Liliana will have to minus, I guess. Gosh dang it. Alright. That's tough. I need my, uh, my draw mechanics here. Orzhov all of a sudden. Okay. Level two. We love that. We do love that. That opens the door here a little bit. Dollmaker shop. Oh yeah, we're looking good now. I thought we were cooked, but here we are. Uh, don't need another one of those. All right, and we got the Overlord, which is good value over time, which is something we really need here, I feel like. Because uh, I don't think we're going to avoid uh, sweepers and removal spells. I'm pretty sure they're going to be all over those two things. So making sure we're able to reload is going to be nice. All right, that's tough. Because then I can't trigger the Dollmaker's Shop, which is fine, though. I got this. This will trigger it once we swing through next turn. Got to take our time, though. Impending doom for you, my friend. This card might just be a little too slow now, these days. I mean, if I had my draw spells too, this would be an absolute wrap, but... Two creatures. That's fine. Uh, not able yet to find a draw spell, still looking. There it is. That's all we needed. That's all we needed. I could take this if I want to, but I don't really care to take it right now. I'm going to hang on to my sheltered by ghost because whatever creature I put it onto, if it gets removed, you know, not going to be good. Uh, I could have attacked there too with my creature land. I guess that would have been a smart call. I keep forgetting to do that.
Yeah, I think ossification, because there's no creatures, right? There's a lot of things that are kind of miscellaneous that we're going to want to deal with. Alright, that does hurt. I'll give him that. That does hurt. What if we take one of those, though? How about now? Alright, we got the Tamer. That's gonna trigger a draw step for our uh, Innocence, which is great. Uh, one, two, three, four, five mana. If we draw into another land, I could just unlock the uh, shop and then win the game here. Alright, sure. Sure, sure, sure. Maybe I sh maybe there's an argument to be said I should have put the uh should have put the uh enchantment onto the flyer here to get more lifelink, but I don't think it's going to matter too much. All right, that's not bad. It's not as good as it was cuz I lost a lot of creature value there, but gaining some life, feeling good. The Overlord is a little weaker here. It would have been a 6-6, six, six, but because we unlocked the dollhouse, it uh, does its thing. All right, nice. Not bad. Still climbing, man. All right, I'm going first with a really good hand. We're keeping this. Um, I am lacking white sources to get down the Innocence, but hopefully with the Spellbook Vendor, we can make it uh, happen here. Uh-oh, we do not have the high noon. Shoot. If we did, this would be a lot better. I'll take that. Every day of the week, I will take that. Hopefully that was their only creature. Oh my god, I think it was. I think it was. Oh my gosh, let's go, dude. Mono red sucks to suck. <laughs> oh, they don't have another. Let's go. This is so good. This is so good. Okay, we need to start drawing cards, though, because we got to find the uh, the high noon. We happen to take out their one creature here, which is great, but. Not a high noon. Got to throw it away. Simple as that. All right, we're scrying, we're drawing, we're gaining life. Everything's looking really, really good, man. Oh, that's that's massive, right? <clears throat> Land is good. I will need it to cast a high noon if we find it. Um, I think I'm just gonna attach an aura here. I know I could have played another spellbook vendor or a glimmer or whatever, but. I think just scrying really far here is going to be key. Come on. High noon and the game is over. Because unfortunately for us, the opponent does still have the ability to drop a creature if they find one off the top here and go absolutely ballistic with it. Um, how many things have we scryed to the bottom? Three. So I think thinning out the deck would be normally a pretty good idea, but in this case, I am just going to attack and try to scry my way into a high noon and then draw into it. So we're going to decline this. Don't need it. It's pretty good, though. Don't need it. Come on. High noon, high noon, high noon. Uh, that is good. It is good. It's hard to give away. Um, honestly, if I can also just find um, if I can just find a uh, enchantment that also exiles this, that'd be good too. We missed. We missed, man. We missed. All right, what can you do? I have blockers down low now, so and I got 29 life, so I don't see a way the opponent comes back here, but you never know. Let's go! We got them! They just had a silly little mouse and they thought they'd get away with that. I bet you their hand was just filled with one mana pump spells like uh, Monstrous Rage and then they were going to fling it at our face. They thought they had the perfect curve, but unfortunately for them, we had our friend Ossification ready to go. Man, this hand would have been pretty fire last game. <laughs> would have been pretty nice. 
Um, okay. I was actually running that card in my build uh, for a little while, but had to make the cut, unfortunately. I do like this card a lot. Let's see what they do with it. Are we going to see a dollhouse or a doll shop come down? No, they're just going to pump it. Is that really... Okay, they have a land. I was going to say, did they not have a land? That'd be kind of crazy. All right, we are going to go high noon here just because we're a little slow on the draw here. And uh, we need to slow them down from being able to pump this thing up like crazy. All right, we do need a body to attach this enchantment to. So I'm going to go ahead and obviously play out the innocence here. Um... I could block, but it, they've got first strike, so I'm not gaining any life. Something tells me, though, they got an exiling effect here. Obviously, being enchantments themselves, pretty strong possibility of that. But I do have a flash speed curiosity, but I'm going to be taking a lot of damage is the problem. Wow, pretty good. I guess it's better than an enchantment, though, because then they would have pumped this up a little bit more, which would have been not great. Ooh, that's a great find, actually. Don't have another answer, please. They don't have, hopefully, creature removal. Hopefully, it's just enchantment artifact type stuff. Okay, that's fine. I can live with it. That's high noon, so they don't... They're not able to cast another spell here. All right, here we go. You know, I was going to take this, but now that I can kind of just chump block it, I'm thinking I should probably just take the forge instead. Take the forge instead, gain some life, and just chump block away at the scavenger here and just start gaining my life right back to where it was. And then I can drop the Endearing Curiosity and draw some cards next turn. All right, a talent's not that, not that bad. So I could take five here or I could draw two cards. Those are my options. I think I'm gonna just draw the one card and not take five. We'll figure it out. That's pretty good. So if I play this, I'm going to have two mana. Okay, doesn't matter. I got high noon out there. Okay, so we attack in. Flash our curiosity in. Drawing cards. Loving it. Let's go. And then if we get the vendor in, we're going to get an enchantment in every single turn, which would turn on the tamer's ability every time. It is nice to splash in the curiosity. I do like the curiosity a lot. I wish I could squeeze in two, but I just didn't see it making the cut, unfortunately. The mana was the issue, right? I had one less mana in the deck, uh, one less land in the deck, I should say, um, to squeeze in a second one. But we were getting, unfortunately, mana screwed quite a bit, so we had to make the cut. Oh, man. Sunfall is crazy there. Ugh. That was not good. Sunfall, man. Oh, Boros tokens, man. Sunfall's crazy. That That's disappointing. I really thought we had him there, too. I thought the game was ours, but that will unfortunately wrap this one up. That's just too much to overcome, unfortunately. And now, in my opinion, High Noon is going to be hurting us more than it is them. Because I have to reload here and I don't have the ability to do so unless I can use the High Noon's ability to blow up something. But I don't have red in the deck. I did consider running red at one point in the deck. Um, just like one to get with the Fable Passage, which is something you can definitely do. But they take the High Noon, so that's fine. Yikes, man. I, I think I should try Boros Tokens, man. I feel like Boros Tokens is going to be really, really good uh, with the Chainsaw and whatnot. Alright, we got the Dollmaker Shop. That's not terrible. 
Uh, I guess run out the high noon now. Might as well. Lay down arms. I gained some life. I guess that's a nice little plus. And that'll do it, man. Good game. Unfortunately, we lose to a very good deck. Uh, something I didn't prepare for at all. Uh, we we looked pretty good up until the Sunfall. I mean, we looked really good, to be honest. GG's, though. All right, I get to go first. How do we feel? This hand looks actually pretty good. Let's actually just crack the Fable Passage right away. Oh, you're kidding me, man. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Here we go again. All right, it's a double ley line. Double ley line. Let's go. Give me your one and only mouse. I dare you. Scamp. All right. Give me that scamp. All right, we need time to set up the tamer and get the ghost attached to it. But if I get if I could draw into a glimmer, I'd feel a little better. Oh, that too. Why not? Dude, if we're if we keep getting mono red and keep beating them, I'm going to be very happy today. That's all I care about. Can we beat mono red? And so far, we've been beating them quite consistently. A one land hand and you thought that'd be enough to stop me? Unfortunately for you, it's not, my friend. And now we've got lifelink. Let's go, and we're gonna be drawing cards now off of the Innocents, and we took their last creature. What's the matter, you ran out of creatures to play? I hate when that happens. <laughs> I hate when that happens, huh? I hate when my hand is full of pump spells and unable to cast any of them. Oh, GG's, my friend. You have officially lost this game. Yep, we'll see you next time, Mono Red. <laughs> I hate that deck so much. <gasps> Let's go, dude! We absolutely stomped them in the freaking oblivion, dude. That felt good. Man, everybody loves beating up the schoolyard bully, right? Everyone loves to see that. Mono Red, sorry, but that's you right now, and I am more than happy to be the person to do so. All right, a couple ossifications here, which might be handy, but Orzov, maybe not. I haven't seen any, like, Orzov life gain or bats recently, so ossification might be a dead card here. Do we play High Noon? Probably not. Probably not. Okay. Just don't have an exile effect. That's all I ask. You can kill it. Just don't exile it. I love these new enchantment creatures, man. The ones that come back when they die, they're all so good. Oh, let's go. Uh, I'm gonna get this down and start this appending. Impending. No attacks. I do have the Flesh Gorger answer in hand. Three ossifications feel pretty good here. I didn't think they would at first, but we see a Flesh Gorger, which means they do run creatures. How many is the question, though? All right. Oh, they're blinking it. Savage. Gonna have to take seven to deal with that now, which is unfortunate, for sure, to say the least. But that's okay. Seven is better than taking seven repeatedly, right? And I'm gonna gain some life back too. It's not the end of the world. And we got another ossification in the wings. Not too shabby. Okay, search your library for a card, put it into your graveyard, then shuffle, return up to two creature cards with total mana value less from the graveyard. Okay, so they're gonna throw a creature in the graveyard and bring it back for four mana. Oh, not the creature you wanna pull out, my friend, unfortunately. I have a perfect answer for that. You've seen it a couple of times already. It's a great card, though. 
I'm a fan of for sure. I'm for sure a fan of that card. We're drawing like crazy now with two innocents on the field. Gonna be drawing cards like it's nothing. There it is, GG's. Yeah, that one was pretty bad for the opponent. Feels bad for them, not me. Man, a couple of removal spells can go a long way, right? <laughs> oh my goodness. What in the world is this hand? Opponent goes first. This is good. I got the high noon. This is, um, you know what? I, uh, I don't know. I don't know what I drop here. It's gotta be Dollmaker Shop, right? I don't have any attackers anyways. Cause you never know what you're up against. If it's mono red, you're gonna need all the removal you can get and the life gain helps too. Dollmaker Shop doesn't really work until you get a creature down anyway, so. Okay, we see a green land come down. That's not terrible. Let's grab a blue source. We've already got a white source in hand here. All right, Spellbook Vendor's nice on two. Starting to wish I didn't give away that doll maker shop, but you gotta keep the high noon every time, man, just in case, you know what I mean? Just in case. <clears throat> Gruul can also be just as aggro as a mono red deck, depending on how they build it. If it is, you know, mice and stuff like that. We'll see what happens. It could be ramp though. Could be really big stuff. Which it looks like it's going to be. All right, High Noon will work really well here actually, because they're gonna wanna play this into another spell. So High Noon shuts that down. So let's get this down. Let's get this down and then High Noon. Seems pretty good. That shuts down the nonsense. I mean, it doesn't shut down, unfortunately, the um, surprise, uh, which is what they're shooting for here. They're trying to drop a surprise on us and drop a calamity and one-shot us. So life gain gonna be really helpful and um, trying to beat them down quickly is gonna be very helpful as well. All right, let's get some auras here. Don't need any more land. That is definitely gotta go to the bottom. Keep on keeping on, man. Keep slamming through, we'll see what happens. They're at, what, three, four, five mana? All right, it's the only spell they can cast. I don't think they realize that yet. I think they were trying to get a Calamity down here. Feels bad, man, I'm telling you, high noon. The real MVP here. Uh, it doesn't really matter which one I choose, right? Definitely want to get that life gain going. I'm telling you, I know they were trying to get the Calamity down from their hand because the Brawler came down with such authority and then they had just that long pause. You know they were hoping to just one shot me there, but unable to do so. I take away their Brawler. I'll just keep taking away any sort of Brawlers or Terror of the Peaks, things that end the game. Uh, with all of my removal spells while I just keep beating them down. I wouldn't be surprised if we see the opponent uh, concede here. They could have a surprise though, which I think can give Hexproof. I know it gives indestructibility, but I think it also maybe gives Hexproof. Yep, okay, so they do play the surprise. We're, we're not actually surprised. We knew that might happen. And it does give Hexproof. That's unfortunate. Okay. That also opens up um, a little bit for the opponent here too because they can uh, now drop the Calamity and try to go for that one shot like I was just talking about. Which is a huge, huge bummer. They might have got us here, guys. Mm. They might have pulled this off. I hope not. Of course they had the surprise, man. I wish that card didn't have so much value, man. That was, you know, I mean, we played this as well as we could have. The high noon really depletes a lot of their value and they've found a way around it. Oh, it's just Terror of the Peaks. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, but it's just Terror of the Peaks. We're okay. We're okay, guys.
Alright, ossification for sure. This has reach. That's crazy. Oh, I'd really like to start getting some of my stuff in here, but I can't. I just can't. This thing has reach. All right, gonna have to pass the turn here. Uh, decline. Uh, this would have been a blowout too if we just if we just had if they just didn't have the surprise. That's what happens though, man. Sometimes people just got what they got. You know, it's not bad. Uh, this thing is gonna create uh, twenty power, I believe, uh, when it swings through with the other brawlers. So I'm pretty sure we're done here. And it's all trample damage too, which is a nightmare. If we survive it somehow though, we could maybe... No, there's no way I could save this game. It's 30 damage. Wow. Okay. 30 damage. All right. So we bring this up for blocks. Uh, block here. Block anything I can, I guess. I think we're still dead here, though. I think that's more than enough. We do gain a little bit of life. Who knows? Minus five plus the four. Yeah, we're dead. All right. I mean, that, I'm telling you guys, that's that's anybody's ball game. Um, if it, just a couple things go different there, they don't have the surprise. We win that game. Ugh, GG. All right. We got to try to end this thing strong. What do you say, Marshall? We got this. Yeah, we got this. He, he believes in me. He believes in me. All right, we go first, high noon. I don't think he believes me. That's okay though. He's a little, he's a little grouchy, but look what we have guys. High noon against mono red. Good luck. Good luck mono red. Okay. We love that. Basically taking the turn off. And we draw into a two drop. I guess that's okay. I wouldn't mind flashing in the curiosity to make a flash block against the hero. That'd be kind of funny because I'm sure they're going to play a spell and then get stuck with whatever they've got as far as power. Odds are, though, we're probably going to end up playing the Overlord or the uh, Innocence here. Another high noon. That's unfortunate. That's fine though. Got the innocence. It is lifelink. I've got a body now to officially attach the ghosts to. And I can start gaining some life when I attack. Help yourself, man. You got it. And their only spell for the turn is... Felonious Rage. Five damage to the dome piece. All right, we'll just deal with this now. I would have loved to have just, you know, played a land there, got into curiosity, but you gotta deal with what's at hand here, which is a really annoying mouse. But guys, we're we're about to beat down red again for yet again another game. I mean, we are just a mono red killer today. Mono red not standing an absolute chance against us at the moment. Help yourself. Um, I've got options here, man. Some really good options. I think I'm going to go with this, though. That might be a scoop from the opponent. You never know. I mean, we got flyers in the air now to block that show off, so they're going to have a hard time getting through. And you got to remember, we're gaining three life when we're attacking in here, too, every turn, which is nice. And we're one land away, probably from winning the game, because we just unlock the, you know, door. And then we've got essentially like 10 tens swinging through. So can Mono Red finish this game with one spell? Probably not. You, know, you can have it. I'm going for the win here. Go for it. Uh-oh. SpaghettiOs. GG's Mono Red, you tried your hardest, I'll give you that, but, you know, it's not enough. <laughs> it's never enough for poor old Mono Red against us, man. We have been 
We have been bullying red all night and it has been feeling glorious. Oh man, you'd love to see it. You'd love to see it. <sighs> That'll do it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's deck list. We will be back again here tomorrow with another one. But man, I got to say enchantments with Duskmorn coming out have gotten such a massive boost. I'm loving it so far, man. It's so much fun because enchantments have always been one of my favorite things to play. Um, I know Selesny enchantments definitely got stale and I hope that doesn't happen here. But um, yeah, man, I'm, I'm having a blast. It's very powerful, obviously. High noon, what can we say? In this meta, if you're running high noon, you're in pretty good shape. Uh, but yeah, that does it, man. I, I love the deck. There's not a whole lot to say about it other than I think it's pretty darn good and uh, we ranked up quite a bit with it. So enjoy and uh, hopefully we'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching all the way through and thank you so much if you're part of the Mardu mob. If you guys don't know, that is my membership program on this channel. So huge shout out to everybody who's hit that join button and joined that membership. I really appreciate it very much. Thank you all so much for doing that. Um, and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next video. Until then, peace out. Man, all of the time Coming with the best decks to the meta This ain't cheap